Welcome back to Acadian Alive, everyone. We have some professors with the University of Louisiana at Lafayette and grad student Logan Fontenot joining us. Dr. Petru and Mrs. Woods are our two professors, and then, of course, Logan, our grad student. Thank you all for joining us today. Thanks, Thanks, for, for, having having us. Us. Thanks for having us. Now, desegregation at UL, that's what this particular history class and project that you guys are working on is all about. And you're kind of wanting the community to help you guys learn even more. How are you guys doing so and kind of encouraging the public to uh, share with you guys? Um, yeah, absolutely. So uh, the university is celebrating its 125th anniversary this year, and it's also commemorating the 70th anniversary of desegregation at the university. Uh, um, and so what Logan's research has been about is seeing what's in the archives mm -hmm. and all of the absences in that official mm -hmm. record. Um, so we're working on um, putting together community engagement work to bring in members from the community, so alumni, students, community members, um, who have anything to share about those experiences. Mm -hmm. um, the African American voices of the story um, are really not highlighted uh, in the official archival record, and so that's, that's what we're working on. And Logan, you'll be giving a presentation actually tomorrow at one of the events, the first event of this sort of uh, three-part series. What will you be speaking about? I'm going to be giving a presentation on my thesis research, which is about this topic. And the goal is to get more information about the events so that we can expand scholarship on that event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And more about the other two events as well. You're, um, again, looking for people to share their stories and give sort of oral histories um, yes. about things that have happened in the past. What exactly are you guys, you know, hoping to gain uh, from these experiences and these stories? Well, and not just oral histories. Um, part of the archival collection is also items. So we are encouraging people, if you have programs from when you graduated, um, diplomas, photographs, anything like that, to please bring that as well. And we'll mm -hmm. be happy to scan it. So s future scholars like Logan will have as broad of a um, collection to work through as we're figuring out what happened and how it happened and its ongoing impact on the university and the campus as a whole. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing the oral history interviews. They'll be interviewed by um, either one of us or, other, or some other students who, are, who have been training really hard this semester learning how to do oral history interviews. And just kind of come and tell us your experiences and what you remember about being a student at UL um, from 1954 onward. This, the, Desegregation is something that's still impact, impacting the campus today. UL, prior to desegregation, it was a completely different place than it was after. And we're excited to see how the campus is continually changing mm -hmm. and how all these, as new people come in, it builds a different community. And we want to capture that. We want to make sure future students have access to that information and also mm -hmm. understand the importance of their place on campus mm -hmm. as well. So that's what we're doing with this project. Yeah go through the details before we go of when the and where these events will be happening. So tomorrow, that one's the first one. Where will that be? That'll be in the library on campus. At the Ernest J. Gaines Center, which is located on the third floor of the Edith Garland Dupre Library, past the Student Athlete Center and across from the Kathleen Babineau Blanco Center. And then our other two events, when will those be? Um, so March 12th from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. at the Student Union. So you can find us by a big Airstream trailer. Mm -hmm. You can't miss us. Uh, um, and then on March 14th, again at Dupre Library uh, um, from 12.30 to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. And parking is available at Gerard Circle Parking. Um, and on Saturday, tomorrow's event, um, parking is available anywhere on campus. Mm -hmm. okay. Mark your calendars for these upcoming events at UL, again, honoring desegregation, and even sign up if you would like to share your story. Visit that website if you'd like to learn more.